Alright, what's up guys? Well, let's go back here and today we are going to be playing some Dragon Pally. Uh, honestly, I just started going through old decks that I've played so far this expansion and trying to find what I think are going to be the most fun ones to play. Uh, I also want to mention that as of recording this, apparently there's some event thing where you can open your packs early for the new set. I don't know if that means you can play the cards on the new set, but I can like open the packs early. Not gonna do that. I'm gonna wait for the actual uh, release date of the expansion. But we did get some new cards. We got okay. Yeah, so you can't even play them. All right. So we got Exarch Othar. Battlecry. If you're building a starship, get three different arcane spells. Reduce their cost by two. Still don't even know what a spaceship is. So yeah. We got the Full Art Worm. Dormant for five turns. At the end of your turn, destroy the minion to the right. Of this to awaken one turn sooner. So like an early game, huge minion. That doesn't look that good. We got Murmur. Uh, Battlecry minions cost one less, but die immediately. I'm actually kind of hyped for this. I think, I think there might be some cool decks with Shutterwalk and that. And finally, we got Velen. Uh, Taunt, Death Rail, Trigger the Battlecry, and Death Rails of all your other Draenei. Uh, you've played this game. I hope that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, please tell me down below. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, with... All that being said, how about we keep the first game and let's see how it goes. Urel versus Nancy. Let's have some fun. <laughs> the light heals all first game warlock? Right? Nemesis a warlock? Yes. But I was we I was walking to my fridge to get me a beverage. Because you know as I always say, if you're gonna be watching some content, you better have a drink. So with that being said, I hope you all have a beverage. Uh, I went to go get me a 7-Up, because I had 7-Ups in my fridge. Uh, it's Quest, most likely. Or it's Imps, in case he's trying to complete that quest. I will probably be doing that after uh, I record. Um, hmm. Works this kind of fine. This thing is really cute. I don't remember playing it, so that's... Really not a good sign. That means I wasn't blown away by it, but deck is fun. Uh, hopefully, I oh shoot, my volume's like all the way low. That's why. Aha, we can complete one. Uh, I need to kill that, and I don't have a good way to kill that. So that's oh, it's also disco. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I don't have enough mana for that. Let's so let's just play this. <laughs> okay, well, at least our hand has a quality here plus this. So even if he does end up flooding the board, we can still wipe the board. We were probably playing the class with the most amount of removal in it, if we're being honest, and the most amount of board wipes that are playable. Uh, especially for the early game. Uh, that's a fairly decent draw. Now, let's start with this. Wow, there's only one left in my deck. I really hope I don't draw the Crystology. Okay, so now we know Kazakazan would be the first draw off, or off order in the court. Uh, I can't realistically ever play this Fiddly because I want this card. Oh, Mirage, that's a good one. Unfortunate. I'm gonna crack open my Mirage, so I'm gonna mute my mic real quick. I, my mic didn't end up muting, so me, I guess. You guys just went deaf. Uh, no, these are five drops. Uh, I already have an eight drop, so this is less good, so I guess it's just Bone Drake. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. Uh, okay, what? I feel like there's a lot of things I'm worried about him playing here. Where I realistically shouldn't see that not next turn the turn after I have a board wipe. Uh, that's. Oh, so that's really bad for me. <laughs> uh, I guess we just play it here. Do I want to order in the court? No, not yet. I need more dragons because Azak Azakazan is four dragons, so 
of them. I'm only at one, two next turn, unless he floods the board, in which case I'm at. Is he playing, like, Control Warlock? So I don't remember seeing Symphony in aggro. Oh, that card, that is, I mean, I feel like odds are this is a pretty slow card, but he's probably playing Control, right? He has to be. Even though there's a Soul Barrage, even though there's the Imp, He's not Reno. I'm so confused. He burns cards here now. He does. Whenever, what the fuck did he just burn? Oh, he burned it to this. We can look at it here. Whenever you play or discard this, to show a random enemy again. Interesting. Alright, let's go dragon here. That's a huge burn, actually. That's no more soul barrages. I really hope he doesn't have weapon removal in his deck, so this way carry all should just be good enough to carry us. My dragon! Oh, well. Hear me out, we RNG another... Kazakus, or Kazakazan. Not a Kazakazan. That's not a bad card either. So this just straight up draws me too, huh? Hmm. I don't necessarily want to draw more cards is the issue. Faith <laughs> this is just like a better quality for me right now, but... I guess we could just play this now. I mean, this card's fine. This card is not great. This is like, guarantee this in three turns, and I know this is my play next turn. It should be fine. This is my play next turn, unless he floods the board, in which case it's like a quality consecrate. Right, if his hand's full of like, discard, uh, like discard summon dudes, like these guys. Which it seems like it is. I can go a quality consecrate right here. This does deal substantial damage to the board. We also do this. I'm down for just the carry L, I think. Our only yeah, I'm down for this. I take what? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Or sorry, six. Two, four, six. Yeah, I take six. I'm, or, sorry, this is one. I take five. Breaks my armor. Well, I'm fine with that. I'm worried because I don't have a realistic win con anymore. And my quote unquote realistic win con is now Cariel Hero Power and playing just bigger minions than his. And then hopefully winning through Mill. Is... He's at nine cards. I'm at nine cards. But I have Finley still, which I could like replace. And I could kind of order my hand in like a favorable way. It's fine. The more guys he summons, actually, the better it is for me. I'm going to probably go Dragon Consecrate here. Just wipe his board. And then try to, like, out-tempo him somehow. Yeah. Uh, wrong dragon. This dragon. This is a pretty good RNG dragon, I won't lie. Sadly, no Kazakus. Or, I won't stop calling Kazakus. Kazakus on. I miss when that card was actually like really good and really playable and everyone was playing it. I really like that as a win con. It's, in my opinion, one of the more interesting win cons um, given to control decks uh, in recent memory. Well, I'm most likely playing the card that I draw anyways. That's a new technique I've not seen yet. I think he's given up. I feel like him giving up would make sense. Yeah. Alright. We got there. We got at least one win, and honestly, I'm happy with that. Get a play 
one of my top three favorite hero portraits. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty confident saying Karyl's in my top three. Probably third, but definitely top three. I'm, I'm pretty sure it goes Gul'dan, Anduin, her. I do like Edmund Blade as well. Yeah. I, I like all the control ones, <laughs> or combo ones. Anyways, uh, oh, I also love Malfurions, but it's no longer playable. Anyways, uh, with all that being said, let's uh, queue up the next game. Alright. Uh, more like this. Keeping this the other game is fine. Yeah, I'm fine with this. The part I'm worried about is I have no way to stop his Uther combo. And just because I'm playing this deck doesn't mean everyone plays this deck. And I have a feeling I am playing against an Uther deck. And I don't have great ways to beat an Uther deck. Uh, okay. I guess we play the slow control game. That's a pretty pog golden, I won't lie. Oh, we're playing his hand buff. That's the deck I wanted to try. I wanted to try playing hand buff and I never got around to doing it. No, I'm sad. <laughs> Just seeing it's like, oh, that's... I remember now. I wanted to play you. Um... Let's force him to do the trade. Squeeze some damage out while we can. Uh, oh, I guess I could talk about some magic stuff. I uh, picked up a Delny today. Uh, Streetwise Lookout. I need a one for... Um, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I'm uh, I'm in the process of building Ariette, uh, the Charmed Apple, or uh, Ariette of the Charmed Apple, sorry. And um, deck looks super cool. It, it it looks like such an interesting take on enchantments. I'm so excited to play it. Uh, okay. I'm very worried, although a hand of double equality feels like it could be pretty solid, I won't lie. Double equality is a pretty good combination, I won't lie. Just can't kill his guys is the issue. Hand is huge. Okay, well he drew the second paintbrush. At least we know that now. Uh, city tax. Let's just go for it. <laughs> What's the other quality at the bottom of my deck? Uh, eight, fifteen cards left. I am a little worried because I, again, I am much lower on cards left in my deck than he is. But wait, what was that effect? Just start your turn, double this me as attack. Does this work the way I want it to work? Hopefully. I have to go with this here. Which is fine. If this works the way I would think it works, it perma sets his health, uh, their attack to two, right? I don't know if they're gonna go up to, what, were they nines? I don't know if they're gonna go up to tens or if they're gonna go to stay at twos. Cause if this works the way I think it works, it's a replacement effect that replaces a replacement effect, if that makes any amount of sense. I don't even really know if I should call them replacement effects. And... Okay, so they do go up to 10s. Uh, a quality Consecrate feels decent, but I can also just time out. Time out draw. That's fine. Oh yeah, I just play the game of delaying the inevitable till he's out of bust cards in his hand. Right now I think there's only the two that's left that's buffed and maybe the seven by plus one plus one, which is not the end of the world. I'm hoping he commits another minion here. 
Kind of doubt it, but he did. The two is now the only real minion I have to worry about. Delay again, but. Definitely not to play this dragon. That's fine though. I wanted his guys to have 40 attacker. I wanted a free turn to slam Cariel is the uh is is the the honest truth. I was not gonna go quality Cariel. Oh, that seems pretty good. Only strength in the resilience. Oh my god, Cariel. What a fucking unit. I still think this card could go... It was 7 mana initially, right? I'm not tripping. What's her name? Doing so many random Google searches in the middle of this video. Don't worry. Light Forge Cariel Nerf. Yeah, she gets to be seven. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. This is no, this is not the wiki. Uh, I should have done this first. I don't have enough mana to play this guy. Yes, I do. It's fine. We played our dragon. Where the fuck is the wiki? The Hearthstone wiki has been getting progressively harder and harder to find, and it's really annoying because they changed it. Uh, yeah. In Sunken City, they raised it by one. Is there any... No, there's only golden and regular. There's no... Full art or alt art. I don't think this was before that was a thing, but... Hey, we won another one. Let's go. Um... All right, I'll take it. Um, let's queue up the next one, I guess. Liadrin versus Jaina. You asked for it. Is this to be our entertainment? All right. Sorry about that. I went to go for the deck I was talking about. I went to go get one of my core spirit dancers out of my binder that they should not be in, but. That's a problem for me to figure out after. <laughs> well, okay, the reason they shouldn't be in that binder is it's... I have a binder... I, I've talked about it a million times, but I play Amulet Titan Modern. And I've been playing the deck for so long that I've accumulated a shitload of Amulet Titan sideboard cards and alternate mainboard cards. So, like, way back in the day... I shouldn't even say way back in the day, but... Uh, maybe a year ago... I should have played this. Whoops. Maybe a year ago or so, um, Dragon Lord Chiboka was a very common cyber card, so I have like a My Flow one in here. Uh, Secure Tribelder, Valakutes that are not really played anymore, Hydroid Crisis, uh, My Foil Storm Wraths, because Yagmoth used to be a huge issue, especially where I play. Um, I'd say like half the field would be on Yagmoth any given week. Uh, my Foil EEs. There's a lot of value in this binder. Place it a foil ancient stories that I now need to replace. <laughs> I know I say that as a negative thing, but um, I just noticed. Oh, there's also a whole bunch of other stuff that should not be in here, but that's because I just received those back. Um, what was I gonna say? Sorry, my brain is half functioning. Um, all the cards in my hand that I can play replace themselves. Uh, dragon. I guess let's just do this. The coin doesn't replace itself, so this is fine. Um, yeah, there was a new Ancient Stirrings print, and they're just, I think last I checked, they were $100 foil. Ancient Stirrings. At least on that side, that's... Oh, there's two R's. I can't spell for shit. Uh, yeah, they're $90 currently. <laughs> Um, for those who don't know, well, it's because I need the foil ones. The regular ones are like $7, $6, $6, but, um, 
These got printed in Mystery Booster 2, and I love this art, and I want them. Uh, that's fun. Uh, so yeah. So now I feel like I need to pick one of those up. By one, I mean four. For a card that I don't know if I'll ever actually end up putting back into my deck. Uh, let's push a shitload of damage here. Just as I think that would be fun. 12, 15. Next turn, potentially. 15 puts him down to 10. He has this. Brock is block at 10. Uh, I hate the fact that so many people are on this deck right now. It's not fun. Not fun at all. I have no real way to kill. I should have saved this, knowing what deck he was on. I don't want a quality that cocks this guy. I guess I could do this. It's not the prettiest way to kill that card, but it does the job, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, it does the job. I mean, he has a million other freezes. If he pulls, I was about to say, if he fucking pulls Kasaka's on, I'm gonna fucking flip my shit. That's fine. I am okay with this. Uh, I'm actually down to Blessing of Kings this. And slam this. Mainly okay with that because this way it doesn't die to its hero power. And this is 19. So 19 plus carry I'll drops him to 1. Uh, if he doesn't freeze my board again, obviously. But hey man, sometimes you just have to believe. Two off. Is that Alibi Wildfire volume up? Or. Okay, at least it's not in their ice block. Alright, well, honestly, I'm not saying this is necessarily correct for him to do. If I was him, I would have left the gold penner alive. There are so many ways to copy spells right now in the game. It is ridiculous. There's no reason he should be able to copy his shit this much, in my opinion. Uh, I need to consecrate this. I don't want him to get this back into his hand. Which forces a consecrate here? Oh, that's consecrate is still in my deck. Uh, get me a good dragon that does something. Well, that wasn't a good dragon. That did something. <laughs> um, well, I'm about to get Frost Nova again. Because this was an instant pick. So it means it's either Ice Block or it's Frost Nova. I wonder if this deck will ever get fixed. And I wonder how they're going to fix it. And I think the answer... The answer has to be... Changing how, like, this is a little fucked up. I personally think that the way they probably fix the deck, it's a deck that's impossible to fix because none of the cards, in my opinion, are broken um, overall. Yes, there are some strong cards. Um... Like, you can't beat them by going wide, and you can't beat them by going large because of the minion he just played. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we, we just lose. There's nothing that can be done. Yeah, so I'm, I'm genuinely curious. How, do, how would you guys change this deck? And I don't want to say change every deck that's just... Toxic to play against because then Shadowwalk Shaman's gonna get nerfed. I'm 
I'm kind of good just calling the game. This way we have time to get into another one, and this game at this point is a loss. You have to kill them by turn 5, 6-ish. So the, the real way, if we're being honest, to beat them is to play... Um... It's to play the, the deck he's... It's to play aggro, right? If I kill him on curve... Like, really, really early on... He doesn't have the time to do what he's currently doing. And... For that reason... I mean... I don't think there's anything off Kazakazan that can help. I think, like, the only way I could foresee nerfing this deck is to change, like, one of the fundamental rules of the game where a minion can't be frozen two turns in a row. Which I think would be a really, really bad change. Because, again, if your opponent plays double... Um... Double Frost Love against you, say on turn 4 and 5. And that's it. That's not an issue. In my opinion, that's perfectly fine if that's how the deck works. That's how the deck works. My issue comes when... Your opponent plays 15 of them. And there's nothing you can do. That's where the issue starts. These are all awful. This is interesting, I guess. I mean, I'm pretty sure I die here. Um. So, like, I, there, there technically are. I feel like I low rolled, but I also feel like, honestly, Kazakazan's options nowadays. They're just not as good as they were, just because the power creep is so large. I... How do I... Hold shift. Um... I even low roll on these, that's fun. So... Like, what? There's this one that's good. I guess there's the crab. There's this that's not bad. I guess the other thing is okay. I should have played this. I'm dead, right? Six times three, yeah. Um, again. Oh, I survived because I take half damage. I forgot. Oops. Um, I'm just good going into another one so we can have time to play another game, but... I feel like Azakazan's cards have just dropped in value. They, they they probably need a little looking at with the power curve, like the power creep, but I doubt that's something that's going to happen anytime soon. Anyways, I'm actually having fun playing this deck, so let's uh, queue up at least... Uh, we'll just queue up one more. Okay, yeah, I'll see y'all up there. All right, um, I want to, I guess I have to assume this is going to be aggro. I'm going to keep the gold panner just because it gives me an extra draw on two, but oh, the card's not bad. Uh, all right, well, let's see how this goes. I guess it doesn't have to be aggro. It could technically be something else, but I have a feeling... In my heart of hearts, it's going to be aggro. I figured it's aggro. Oh, that's... You know, honestly, our draw here is decent. Uh, double, double Consecrate in the early game might allow us to get to the light game. No, it doesn't even fucking matter. Um, because everything he's gonna play is gonna have a million, um, a million health. It's, it's gonna be too slow to a quality. Let's see if I can connect there. He plays a couple other one health minions, and this could be good here. But 
or he hero powers, even then this still survives. I don't want to waste the consecrate either is the other thing. If he hero powers, I think I do consecrate just to prevent this. So that consecrate when I play this, but then this just dies to a whole bunch of other things. Is that a 2-4? The main thing I want to kill now with the country doesn't even die, but I can actually still go for the consecrate here. I take away some amount of damage. This is like the worst card for him to play. I kind of want to just slam this, but I have a feeling it just gets poked in hero powered. I guess if it gets poked in hero powered, he's not doing other things. Uh, I already have one of these. Let's just take this. Maybe we can actually land the Zerdry plus a Consecrate. But I doubt it. <laughs> Maybe he rats me and then a Zerdry comes out. I think if I could survive till 8 with a decent amount of health. Not a lot. Not a little, but like a decent. Like say like 10, 15 health. I think I could come back. Yeah, exactly what I thought was gonna happen happened. Um Now everything on his board is too big to die to like one consecrate, so Well that gets played next turn. We do this and we draw two cards and then we wipe his board next turn and we hope that holy macro is gonna be good enough to stabilize us after that. Because right, so we take a shitload of damage here. How much is this? He's going face with everything. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Or we're just dead. I mean... Okay. I, I have the equality consecrate for next turn. Um... I just have to survive. I had to survive realistically two more turns. Oh well. Oh well, we were doing so good and then we lost two games in a row. What can you do? Anyways, we completed this. We killed two imps. <laughs> uh, as I said, I'm gonna complete this off um, recording. Just so this way tomorrow will be one step closer to getting patches. Also, I should reroll this. No, oh, I can do that after <laughs> as well. Um, anyways, we're also almost at 2k, 20k, or no, 2k, sorry, not 20k. 20k would be fucking wild. Uh, which is we're getting closer to, con um, words hard. Uh, we're getting closer to, my brain is actually not working. Closer, I, I want to realistically open, basically what I'm getting at, is I want to realistically open, try to open like 190 packs on day one. I'm not going to buy any extra. Being at 20k just means I need a farm, or 2k means I need a farm another 2k, somehow. That's not including the, the packs you just get for free. Because I feel like at the start of the season's reward, you get a couple for free and shit, so. Hopefully we can do 190 on day one. I think that'd be pretty dope, but, uh. It is what it is. Anyways, uh, Draggy Pally's fun. The deck is fun. It's not competitive. It's not great. Um, but if you just want a decent, fun deck, give it a try. It's something different. It's a different take on a control Pally that doesn't run Uther. Yes, Kazakazan feels dated, but it's interesting. I think Kazakazan could go back to what he was, actually. Again, another card that got nerfed. <laughs> this deck's just playing all the cards that got nerfed. Uh, but no, I think Kazakistan could go back. Again, as much as I, the, the treasures are cool, they're, they're not great anymore. Like, yes, you'll get the draws where you just get all the fucking burn and you're going to kill your opponent with just the burn, but maybe I don't know which are the right ones to take. I normally just get burnt out in, like, two turns, and I just die, and I was like, oh, okay, well, GG. But, hey, I, I would say give it a try if you have the cards. I wouldn't recommend crafting anything so close to... The new update, but if you can, go for it. Yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, I don't have much else to say. So besides, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. 
Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys all on the next one where hopefully we get some more dubs. All right, guys. Yeah. With that being said, I will see y'all there. Peace.